Hello, welcome to Six Sigma's control phase. Uh, in this phase, in this short video, I'm going to uh, walk you through how statistical process control charting techniques can be used in the control phase. All right, so this data set, um, I've used this data set before. You probably have seen it in my previous videos. So what we have here is we do have different subgroups or samples uh, from a process called uh, paint shop. So let's assume that this is a painting process that um, a company is uh, in implementing on number of cars that they produce. And in order to make sure that their process is under statistical process control, what they do is they randomly select five different cars and they collect the paint thickness level on those cars, right? And then they note it down. And what we do here, and what we do have here is um, 35 different subgroups and each subgroup has five randomly selected cars, right? They were collected, they were observed, they were measured at different time, um, um, at 35 different times. Uh, and then every time that you know, company did this uh, monitoring analysis, they randomly selected five different cars coming out of the line and they measured the thickness levels on those cars and they recorded those numbers here, right? And let's assume that after the 25th car, starting with the 26th car, uh, a an improvement you know, um, has been made on the process. And now the company is trying to see whether it made any impact or not, right? Um, let's assume that this was part of continuous improvement process and um, um, the team operator would like to make sure that um, everything is fine or well, everything is fine in terms of statistical process control. And number two is maybe um, they wanted to make sure that the upper limit and lower limit control levels shrunk. Uh, it is important because it will also make sure that uh, the variation is further reduced as well. Well, how do we know? Uh, you know, how do we how do we know that you no know, those things uh, happened or not? Well, we are going to use Metap's control charts. All right, so let's get started. We are going to do the same things that we did before. Uh, we will open Metap and we will go to stat control charts, variable charts for subgroups. Remember, thickness level it's a variable. We are not measuring number of defectors or proportional number of defectors or how defective a certain product is. In that case, we would have used U chart, right? Um, in this example, um, our, our variable is just the thickness level uh, on a on thickness level of paint on a car, right? So that would be a variable chart. Therefore, you need to go to mini tab, stat, um, control charts, variable charts for subgroups. We do have subgroups, right? In each subgroup or in each sample, we do have five different observations before we select this. If our subgroup was composed of just one observation, we would have done with this variable charts for individuals. And then we would be point, uh, we would be drawing the individual uh, moving range charts, right? Instead of this variable charts for subgroups. 